Hey, I'm Joe Beretta, and you're watching Bonus Feature Spotlight. John Hughes spent the better part of the 1980s with his finger on the pulse of the American youth. With films like Sixteen Candles and The Breakfast Club, Hughes deftly observed the cringeworthy and often hilarious growing pains of adolescence while paying respect to the brash intelligence of ordinary teenagers. Like many of his characters, Hughes himself was a bit of an outsider and was famously reclusive to working in Hollywood. He opted instead to work from his home, setting all of his films in the fictional town of Shermer, Illinois, an amalgam of his own native Chicago suburbs. It not only allowed him to work in privacy, it was the key to unlocking a look and feel for his films that was distinctly his own. We shot in many, many different little places, all within a, you know, half an hour or an hour from Chicago. The fact that John Hughes shot his movies in the Chicagoland area as opposed to Los Angeles gave them such an authenticity. It was, it was crucial. I know for myself, being in that kind of an atmosphere made me relate more to the story and to my daughter and the whole thing, the family. John Hughes was from Chicago. His movies were set in the Midwest. They seemed to be about normal American kids and it was a departure from the L.A. youth movies of the time. You know, you got a sense watching his films that there was a youth sensibility in the rest of the country outside of L.A. and probably outside of New York and places like that that still had a whole lot going on. And just the, the feeling was always, the feeling was always real. For me, even as the actor, it was sort of like, oh yeah, well I am for an exchange student going like, oh wow, look at all this. What's that? Oh, wow. So I was really into it. <laughs> None of us were movie stars, and we all just went off to Skokie, Illinois, and we stayed in this little, you know, hotel together. You know, there's a great sense of a camp-like environment when you're on a production where it works and people sort of agree to get along and really enjoy it, the process. And they also have like, great houses and great neighborhoods that had a really rich character to them. The town and sort of the atmosphere of the film is actually a, sort of a character in the film as well. You can't get that in the studio. I think that it was intentional on his part that we have the film look like slice of life, middle America, and then everyone could identify with it. And I think that's what happened. Everyone identified with this. If you look at movies after John Hughes really knocked them out of the park with high school movies, they did start to take place in this sort of everyday place. It, it's getting harder and harder to do. I say this as, as a filmmaker. It is getting harder and harder to, to shoot stuff sort of accurately on location. So I really appreciate that attention to detail. Those films are just iconically Chicagoan. John Hughes directed his last film in 1991, and though he continued on as a prolific writer, he never again returned to the teenage themes that largely defined his career. He passed away in 2009, but his legacy certainly lives on, because for every incoming wave of teen angst, watching a John Hughes film will always be a rite of passage. For Bonus Feature Spotlight, I'm Joe Beretta. Thank you for watching Universal Pictures All Access get the most out of your movies. All right, you guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and if you want to see more, click on one of these other videos, and also uh, the, the little subscribe button that's floating somewhere around here. I, you find it. You're an adult. <laughs>